Hi, my name is Stonewashe Walker. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing great tonight. Um, today is, well, tonight rather is, I think it's Saturday. And um, tomorrow, Sunday, would be um, Easter Sunday or Re Resurrection Sunday. So I'm um, just basically wanted to kind of say as Christians, um, to kind of remember, since this is like Resurrection Sunday, remember why um, Jesus died for our sins. And there are certain things that as Christians, we are expected to do and also expected not to do. And just recently, I've been seeing videos, you know, talking about more or less kind of like exposing people. I feel like the only people that needs to be exposed are the ones that are hurting other people or take advantage other, of other people. You know, they're either hurting children, their spouse, or just someone in general. Those people are the ones that need to be exposed so they can, you know, whatever needs to happen to them can actually happen to them if they need to go to jail, go to counseling or whatever they need to do to kind of help with their situation. But just generally exposing someone because they may choose to live a different life than you, unless that is affecting you in some type of way, it's really none of your business. And as Christians, it's very important that we don't get caught up in the things that the world do. Just kind of think of it like this. Just say Christianity was like a house in a neighborhood. All the houses are exactly the same. The only difference is who actually lives in each of those houses. So like one of the houses Christians live in, it might be the next house over, might be a house where they don't even believe in God, other religions, just different things. Everything other than what's actually going on in the house from the outside looked the same, looked normal. As Christians, we're given the Bible as more or less our, our guide, our rule book on how to make it through this world. And there are certain things that we're asked to do one of them is to respect your neighbors, to treat your neighbors the same way that you would want to be treated. We're also asked not to judge. We're asked to respect. When you're not judging, when you're respecting people, that doesn't mean that you're agreeing with what they do or how they choose to live. Like I said, as long as what they're doing is not infringing on your health, not infringing on your safety or the safety of someone else um is it, it's, it's like with the story of of with jesus and the woman that was caught in the middle of committing an adultery according to the bible that is wrong but when jesus was confronted with the situation he didn't pass judgment on her he just said whoever um has not committed sin cast the first stone because we're all guilty myself as well as anyone and everyone that may be watching this video there's no one that's walking on this earth that has not committed some type of sin or maybe currently involved in some some type of sin and the last thing you would want a person to do is expose what you're doing behind closed doors you know, so why take pleasure in seeing that happen to someone else? And like I said, for Christians, what, you know, like I said, we're expected to do certain things based on being Christians. And it's a slippery slope when you get caught up in what the world is doing and you want to act like the world or be like the world because we're supposed to be separate from the world. We're in the world, but the world is not in us. And we're supposed to be separate from the world. So... Instead of, you know, it's, I had did a video before about um, the group think. Mob mentality is the same way or a witch hunt when you're just out looking 
for someone that's doing wrong. Like I said, if, if, if they're not hurting anyone else, is really what what why is it your concern or why is it important that you shine a light on what they're doing if they're not hurting you or or someone else like i said if it's a child molester yes yeah, speak out let the world know about this if it's a person going around you know being his wife or a woman beating her husband or a person going around raping stealing robbing whatever those are the things that need to be, you know, need to be exposed because they're hurting someone. But um, like I said, just make sure as Christians, you're reading your Bible so you can know what, you know, so you're grounded. Because like when Jesus was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, when he was at his weakest, that is when Satan came to him. And that's when Satan tried him three times. Each time he was tried by Satan, he stuck to the word of God, the word of his father. Just like I was saying earlier, if we're in, if we're in this house, these these the Bible is a guideline on how God expects us to be in this world, how God expects us to serve this world, how God expects us to represent him. And you know, we talk about how much he loved us and that's why Jesus ended up dying. And then he's going to, you know, he was resurrected three days later. We talk about how much he has actually have, how much he got actually loved us to allow this to happen. And how much Jesus loved us to be willing to be sacrificed. So we have to make sure we show that same love back to him. And like I said, it's not being perfect or never making a mistake or never doing anything wrong. Is just trying to be a better person, understanding that we can't just run behind and do everything that we see the world do. That is that is not how we're supposed to act or treat people as Christians. So that's basically all I wanted to say. I hope y'all having a great day. Peace.